morning, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick and I, we were here last year and showing you the patient blood management program. Today, we're here to show you some of the amazing results. And on top, Patrick, it's his birthday today. Hello, Patrick. So he's here and not at home with his family. So, is it moving? Can you move forward the slides? Oh, there it is. Right. Um, first of all, thank you to Joe and thank you to President Clinton. And why is that? Because without them last year, we wouldn't have been able to build something up in Europe which is unique. We have founded last year the European Patient Blood Management Network. We also we have been awarded with the German Prize of Patient Safety. And I'm telling you, the Humanitarian Award has helped a lot to convince the Europeans to be part of it. So thank you very much for this. So, we have now published the data of almost 100,000 surgical patients undergoing surgery before and after implementing patient blood management. And we have achieved a reduction in four university hospitals by almost 20% in transfusion and 30% in acute kidney injury. So what does this mean? Acute kidney injury in a hospital, you put a line in, you do a renal replacement therapy, the patient is after several days fine and going home. But then these patients are going to die after several years. And you can see this. After two years, patients with acute kidney injury are dying but you never ever make the connection that probably something happened in the hospital before. So patient blood management is saving lives. And I'm telling you right now, it's not a thousand, it goes into 100,000, goes into the millions, millions of lives we can save. So I'm very proud today to announce that we are founding here today the World Patient Blood Management Network, and we're trying to achieve, to find worldwide patient blood management hospitals. We want to collect data and numbers of lives saved so we can report this back to you. Thank you very much for this. And finally, I know it's not part of it, but I have to do it. It's not whiskey. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's the Platinum Award of the European Patient um, Management um, Network. And this is obviously for this great man, Joe Chiani and to say thank you from the European side to the American side, and thank you to all of you who were supporting us and helping us and to be successful, not for us, being successful for our patients. Thank you. I'm very sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. This is humbling. Thank you for the great work you've done. You know, I think you remember the key points of what Dr. Kai Zakharovsky started and proved, that if you increase the hemoglobin level of patients that are there for elective surgery, just by two grams per deciliter before surgery, no matter where you put the trigger to give transfusion, they dramatically reduced unnecessary blood transfusion, which reduced kidney damage by 30%. Incredible, and several hospitals were part of that study. And I think most people here know that blood transfusion is one of the top five expenses in the hospital. And of course, there was this understanding there's a mortality risk that goes with blood transfusion. And you prove by reducing it, you could really help save lives. Thank you, the awards belong to you. Thank you so much, this is something I'll cherish. Thank you, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr.